And what are your health issues? Um, I have a few. So when I was normal, that's when I used to play football. I used to run for Blackheath Harriers and I swam nationally. And then when I was about 11 or 12, they thought I had a swimming injury because my rib was sticking out. All so right. a couple of weeks went by. Things just weren't getting better. So I went to the doctors and then they found a curve in my spine. So then I went for x-rays and then they found out I had scoliosis. Um, but it was idiopathic scoliosis. So it means it's not genetic. There was no accident. It just happened for no reason. Right. And you can live with that. You can actually live with it and be absolutely fine. But mine um, went downhill within six months. I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. And I had to wear like this body brace. It was like thick, hard plastic for 23 hours a day. Wow. So the one hour I didn't wear it, I swam. And um, yeah, that's kind of when everything started with me. Yeah. Was that still yeah. at the age of 12 then, or 11, 12? Yeah, I had this, uh, so I had to have spinal surgery, um, wow. which was T1 to L4. So that's like three quarters of your spine. Um, they put two metal rods and 18 bolts wow. to hold me together. Um, but when I had the surgery, it went well. I mean, it didn't go well. Um, because I died like twice, my organs just Jesus. shut down, and mm. then I had three blood transfusions. But I had no prior health issues, so they couldn't understand why. And then I was paralysed for a year, which also wasn't normal, because my surgery went well. Then they found out I had Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, so EDS for short. Wow. So I'm just taking all that in. That's, yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah. Um, how, do, how does that affect your normal day-to-day -day life? Um, well, yeah, challenge. I'm not normal, so I have to have a lot of adaptions. Even down to, I can never drive a manual because I had a muscular stroke. Mm. So nothing to do with the brain, just literally down my left side. So I don't have the same strength as my right. Um, yeah, like even in school, I couldn't do a full day. So no. when I was paralysed, they were like, that's when they found out I had EDS. Um, and I was in a very low place because going from football, swimming, doing hurdles to nothing mm. was quite a dark time. And um, yeah, you ha I kind of had to make a choice. Did I want to just self-pity and stay there or do I actually want to do something and do my physio? Because I would stay in hospital for like three months at a time, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I finally got into a positive mindset and that's when I started walking again managing my pain, my dislocations, I started to learn to put back in myself. Wow. Um, and, and what age was this? Were you kind 14, of just, yeah. around 14. Um, yeah, that's, wow. that's when I started to self-manage. <clears throat> and, and which organs kind of failed during the surgery? Oh, random, well, my heart gave way and I think part of my liver, I feel it was my liver, um, but then like four years ago, randomly, my gallbladder just died. Your what, sorry? My gallbladder. Okay, right. Do you know what? I don't know. No. What that is, no. <laughs> so it processes <laughs> all your foods. Okay, right. Um, all your nutrients and all of that kind of stuff. And that's different to your bladder? Yeah, yeah. It's okay, yeah, right, yeah, gallbladder is, it's all obviously connected, but it's connected yeah. to your liver. So you've got like bile ducts that connect every organ. Okay, right. Um, and yeah, mine just failed. Jeez, so yeah, yeah, I had to have emergency surgery to have it removed and part of my liver, yeah. And can EDS affect anyone? No, you're born with it. Oh, so you are. trauma has to present itself. Yeah. So my idiopathic scoliosis happened and that's when like the EDS kicked in. Okay, right. So I, yeah. there's like six different types of it. So you get like the mild where you have subluxions, dislocations, and then the worst is like organ failure, Basically, you have a life expectancy, and at the end, you won't be able to. You'll be fed through a tube. You'll breathe through a tube. All of that. Kind of stuff. If you don't mind me asking, what what is the life expectancy normally? Thirty eight is the longest person. And and how old are you? Twenty eight. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, does it? What, how do you cope with it on a day to day as well? Now, what 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 I normal mean, things you you find difficult? Everything, even how I get out of bed, so I have to go on my side yeah. to then sit up. Um, yeah, everything. I have a lot of adaptions, but I just style them out so people wouldn't even know their adaptions. 
Um, but on like my bad day when I can't really walk, I just stay home. I understand, yeah. 